All right, let's create a new expense report. To do that, it uh, depends on how your toolbar is set up, but typically it's going to be under something like Create Expense Report. It may be directly on, instead of being in a drop down menu, it may be directly on the toolbar. I'm there already, but I'll click it just to reload the page. So to bring you in here, it, if you are a resource, you will be loaded in by default. If you have the correct security settings, you can create one for someone else, but uh, it'll have you there in the drop down. Your start and end dates, you can modify if they need to be changed. Um, you get a little calendar here, and if you pick a date, it'll load that in there. And your description here can be anything. Obviously, the resource and dates are required. The description is optional and can be changed later. Be uh, careful with your dates. Uh, once you create a report within that date, date range, uh, you cannot create another one for that date range. Everything will have to be added to this. You can make amendment reports afterwards, uh, but make sure your date range is correct. And I'm going to hit Create Report. and it will uh, load that in here for me and underneath each section zoom out a little bit underneath each section you'll be able to add records you'll see a, a list of blank fields for each one so we can again use the calendar to pick the date if you um, pick a date that doesn't fall within the range when you add the record it will use either the last date or the first date depending on what you picked in the calendar here so let's just add some stuff here pick whether whether it's billable or reimbursable and you do need to add each record once it's added up into the grid you can see that you can still change some things simply by clicking on what you want to change For certain records where you, where you can select how it was paid, it will default some of the options here. So if I click that I paid by company card, you'll notice that reimbursable automatically goes to no. If it's by cash, it'll flip back to yes. And credit card, uh, in the rule setup, you can determine if it's a personal card, uh, how these come out. Of course, you always need to tell it whether or not it is billable. It's always going to default to yes. You can change that with the setup option where everything defaults to no. Um, once you've finished entering in all of these, you can click the update report button. And as you update it, the report summary will change. All of the records that you add in the bottom are automatically saved. So if I, if I were to not update the report, those records would still be there and still be saved. You can submit the report for approval. Once it's submitted, it cannot be changed unless it's declined in the approval process, in which case you'll receive an email saying that it's been declined and you'll be able to pull this report back up and make changes and resubmit it for approval. If a record is incorrect, you can still change it up until it has been submitted. You can also delete records by selecting them and clicking the delete button. That's about all. Just make sure you review each section and make sure that it's correct before submitting your report.